Hi, I'm Lori Dorneman. I'm a parent educator out of Wichita, Kansas. My name's Eric. I'm her oldest son. We've been invited to come up to your school to talk to you about a little bit more sensitive of a topic, raising children in today's modern world. Mm -hmm. Now, in order for our talk to be as effective as possible, we want to reach out and start building a connection with you right now. So thank you for taking a moment and watching this video. So we're gonna start with a dilemma. In our society, by and large, parents, like we're fantastic. We understand that the value of education, I mean, you're sending your kids to a Catholic school. We're invested, we love our children. I mean, I would die a thousand deaths for my children. I'm sure you do the same. So why is it that with these amazing, fantastic, savvy, educated, invested parents, that the average age of first exposure to hardcore porn mm -hmm. is eight? And by the time our children are 12, 90% of them have seen it. So how can that be? Like, what's happening? We love our children. We would do anything for them. So where is the disconnect? Like, how is porn infiltrating? I want you to think back 20 years ago. Remember, that's the late 90s. <laughs> porn now versus then, it's so much different. Even five years ago, it's so much different. And that is because of this, phones, iPads, Kindles. The accessibility and availability of porn is everywhere. It is inconceivable. And yes, that word I just used, it means what I think it means. <laughs> so when we come to your school, we're gonna dive more into the brain and addiction and why addiction happens so easily with a developing brain and with porn. So our goal is to help you really understand what your child is truly facing. So that's the first reason, you know, that porn infiltrates. It's just available everywhere. Yeah. Another reason is you and I, as parents, we have these beliefs and they blind us to what's really happening. So we give birth or we adopt our child and without even thinking, we just start forming these, these beliefs about our child. I mean, we experience them and they're innocent and they are pure and we fall in love. We would just do anything for them and as they like, they're toddlers and they're so cute and they start speaking and then they're like four and five and six and seven, they emerge, they become like people and they're innocent. I mean, your average seven-year-old is just amazing. And so we get busy as parents, you know, we're taking them to practice, we're making supper, teaching them about God, you know, all is well. We know they are innocent. I mean, that's what we experience. So we think that teaching them about porn, like, will actually make them more curious. And so we just don't say a word. We do not educate our kids on purpose uh, on this topic. Yet, the age of first exposure is eight. Mm. There's thousands of second graders being exposed to hardcore porn to, in today's world. Mm -hmm. Whether it's an older family member uh, kind of leaves something out, whether it's being shared around at school or a pop-up on the internet. When a child that young sees that, they don't know how to understand it. They can't process it. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, parents are completely unaware. So we need to change our belief system, you know, our belief on this from talking about pornography with my child will steal their innocence to talking to them will actually protect their innocence. Yes. We want to share another belief with you. And so this next section is actually going to be a video from our online course, The Parenting Dare. Belief number 11. You know, I just don't want to talk to my kid about porn. Oh my gosh, you actually do want to talk to your child about pornography. Why? You can change everything for your child. You, the parent, have so much power just by talking with them. You're going to give them a gift that is rare and it, oh, it will just change every aspect of their life. So I love this quote by Shane Claiborne. I am convinced that if we lose kids to the culture of drugs and materialism, of violence and war, and Lori Dornaman would add pornography, 
It's because we don't dare them, not because we don't entertain them. It's because we make the gospel too easy, not because we make it too difficult. Kids want to do something heroic with their lives, which is why they play video games and join the army. But what do they do with a church that teaches them to tiptoe through life so they can arrive safely at death? Ah, I love that. Parents, we get to guide our kids to their teenage years in a way that is epic and inspiring just by being open and honest with them. By talking with them, we're going to form them into true disciples who get the issues and they can work through them. So change this belief from, I don't want to talk to my kid about it to, I get to dare my child to live in a heroic on fire way. Ah, love. So parents, begin to prepare your hearts. There is more to this parenting thing than meets the eye. Erica and I invite you to take off your, like, you know, your rose colored glasses of, oh, my, my child is so pure and innocent, and really enter into your parenting and parent on purpose. So remember, it's not about if your child is good or if they're bad, mm -hmm. it's that they're living in today's ever changing mm -hmm. world. And as such, the way you parent equip them to live freely must also be ever changing. So in our next email, we're gonna go a little bit lighter. Whew. We're gonna talk about the four levels of happiness and the amazing foundation that can bring to your growing family. See you then.